Hi everyone, welcome to the video, and today we have the FX, both as 40mm and tractor. So, um, let's start off with the tractor. So this is um, a normal, just six-wheeled um, truck, and it's really, really nice. It's quite large, so it's, um, you know, you could use it to chuck some soldiers on if, if it's in a diorama, and it looks really nice. Now, um... Mine is a uh, nice, I, th I think it's quite nicely painted, I painted it in the European, like, green colours instead of the, um, desert yellows and stuff, because I wanted a, uh, like a nice, uh, European, um, coloured truck, because I thought it m might be a nicer idea instead. Now, unfortunately, mine's got a lot of repairs done to it, it's got an incredibly mangled front, and the sides have got bars on, here and here and here, because that's what happens when you have a puppy. I had mine set up on a diorama and he took it and he started chewing it and he had basically um, destroyed part of it. It was completely just destroyed. There, there are um, scratches on the top, there are there's bits of mangled all over the front and as I said there are bars here and here. So um, I don't think this is like too bad because I did manage to replace it with um, repair it sorry and it doesn't look um, bad I, I covered it up with revel uh, weathering powders so you can't really see too much and anyway it just adds to realism it could just be like uh, repairs that they've done to it so you know it looks really decent to me still so um there are uh, a quite uh, quite big decals and you know there's the desert rat ones but I still added them because I still wanted decals on my model so um yeah i think this is a really really great truck so let's move on to the gun now so the both is 40 millimeter gun it's an anti-aircraft gun and here it is in the traveling position so obviously you just hook it up to the truck and it's um you know good to go so it's um the so i didn't glue the um gun in position so you can lift it up and turn it around so you can set it down on a diorama or something and make it look really nice. Um, I think that's really great that I didn't glue it down because I decided to put it in the travelling not sitting position because I feel like the sitting position really limited what you were able to do with it whereas the travelling position made it, you know, limitless. So it's really great. Um, so here you've got the, uh, where the bit where the rounds go in. Um, so you've also got a guy, uh, the loader, with more you know, bits, uh, more rounds on. Then you've also got two other guys, two other um, men sitting down, uh, firing the gun. So, uh, finally, we have the guy um, with binoculars. So he's just painting his khaki uniform, and he's just looking up at the skies, making sure that there are no, you know, enemy planes, or maybe he's looking at the enemy planes, and he's telling them where to fire. So, overall, I really like this set. I think it looks great in convoys, um, especially with other um, vehicles like the Cromwell or other tanks. Um, so yeah, if you can get your hands on it, that would be re really great for you because it is absolutely brilliant. Mine isn't so good because it, obviously it was destroyed by the dog, but I've managed to kind of bring it back to being okay-ish. So anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe and like, and I will see you later. Goodbye.